Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In this video tonight, we're going to be going over setting a view criteria kind of um, at runtime. Here you can see um, in the upper right or upper left, I have my model. Uh, entity objects are departments and employee EO from the HR schema. And here you can see that I have some basic, very basic VOs. You'll notice the numbers here indicate that it's under a subversion repository. And you can see other videos on that if you'd like. Um, and on my view object for the employee view, I have no bind variable and no view criteria currently set. So what we're going to be doing is creating a view object or view criteria on the fly. So let's go over to our job, and I've pre-built this basically because it's very similar to what we did in the first video on view, um, setting the where clause. Um, I'm basically set, creating a uh, method with a string dep ID. This time I'm using the dep department ID instead of the job ID. And um, we're referencing the view criteria, create view criteria, reset criteria, and then we're creating a create create view criteria row, and then basically just setting it to the department ID and whatever value we pass in. And uh, you'll notice that this is the value not of the database, but of the entity that we got it from. So if we go to attributes, it's this value, not the value in the query like we did with the where clause. So uh, it's not this value, which is an underscore. So uh, let's go back to our you know, input. So this references the view object attribute name. Okay, and then we just apply the view criteria that we've set and execute. Now you can also, not doing it in this example, but you can also add multiple ones of these so that you can have two or three different values. And uh, in other examples that I put out in the web in videos, there is that example. So we're going to do this here. Um, we're also going to have this very similar code in the application module. And um, you can see here that the application module is um, also available in Subversion. And you can see that this time we do the get view object from the down here. Uh, it's this one. And uh, then we add a crea uh, create a view, uh, view criteria from the VO. We reset it. It's all the same code practically, except different, slightly different prefixes referencing it. And we again set it, and we add it, and we execute. Okay. Now also um, on my uh, main web page, I have a button that I've set, and this time it's slightly different code, but it still accesses the view object. We're doing this. And here, then, once we get the view object here and the view criteria for it, we can reference that and do exactly the same in code and execute it. And so let's just expose those, uh, those methods on our view object and expose it on the application module. Another one we don't have to worry about. Refresh our data control. Go over to main. I'll do the view object first. Though it doesn't truly matter. Parameter form. And again, you can see that the button there, and I think it's probably better move that down. And we'll do this one too. Maybe a parameter form. Okay. Save it, run it. Okay, here's our form. This one is um, not accepting any parameters and automatically sets it to 90. I'm going to do 60 for the VO and we'll do 90 again for the one that runs off the application module. So you can see all the same exact functionality running in different locations. Um, and it all depends on what your use case is. Thank you very much. I hope this was interesting and helpful.